Introducing the Ghost Experience. The Ghost Experience lets you choose between two different ways to play the PvE version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Regular, the way the game was released, and immersive, a new way to experience the game. While regular lets you play with weapons and gear of different levels and rarity, immersive mode removes the notion of gear score entirely. The new tactical settings will change the way you play. New HUD settings are also available, allowing you to fine-tune your preferred level of information at any point in time. The objective of the Ghost Experience is to give you total freedom of choice. As such, you can switch between immersive and regular mode at will. Of course, you can play in co-op with players in different modes, and every setting can be tweaked so that you can create your ultimate ghost experience. Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future a completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building a new world.
Who are these guys? Place. Anyone could hit themselves somewhere. We don't have the bodies to do a thorough sweep of an area this big. What the hell happened here? It 
Looks like this place was abandoned. Oh, choppers got wasted. No one could live through that. Okay, if anyone's still alive, Stone wants them dead. So keep looking. Search for survivors? That's a joke. You see those things go down? Don't count these guys out. If any of them did live, they're gonna be hella pissed off. They must be dead. Ain't no way anyone could live through all this. Hey, someone told me they'd test something new out here. Yeah, something really big and really secret. Uh, no. Hey, nothing to report. No survivors so far. Hey, don't underestimate the ghosts. This is some scary shit, man. I ain't never seen wrecks like this. No one's walking away. Maybe. But we gotta make sure. Herzog insisted we bring someone... Go! There's got to be somebody. Storm Cloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! What are you doing? Nothing out here, Roger. Nothing either.
here. Copy. Have same. Negative contact. Contact here. Copy that. Same here. Okay with this detail, man. Searching through dead bodies when we know ain't no one's alive. Just keep a lookout. We gotta make sure they're all dead. This is a big place. Anyone could have hit themselves somewhere. Man, has a lot of broken shit here. I wonder what they're using it for. I'm not seeing any survivors over here. Keep searching. If anyone survived and we missed them, Stone will have our asses. hearing in my right ear from an Iraqi IED. Truth is, this job's killing me. I can't imagine doing anything else. Ooh. Oh no! Jeez! I... Oh, man. If they survive that crash, they definitely won't survive this shithole. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out.
activity here. Nah, no movement over here. No way anyone walked out of this in one piece. All right, we're gonna move out. Your team over there, your team on that side. Watch your spacing. You know what to do. Let's roll. Damn, area's massive. How the hell are we supposed to find anyone in this? What the hell happened here? It's like this place was abandoned. There's no way anything survived those chopper crashes. Huh? Oh shit. You see the fires? I got a man down over here. Uh, whatever that it's was. Bill. I'm gonna go after it. Someone's here! Alright, I'll go too. Oh boy.
Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Now, what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. What is this place? Boys are right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <sighs> Can you believe this place, man? My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. You ever see yourself doing this? left who made it hey, you just relax pal i'm doing what i can you damn superhero <sighs> here here's another superpower I 
can't find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? Yeah, the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. You ever see yourself doing this? No pressure. Take your time.
for this fight? 